and you're watching Laura Xani and would you fuck funk it? I'm at university now. These are my new digs. Do you like my big photo wall? Which is just perfect for a YouTuber to stand in front of. And no, I will not be going into beauty guru just because my room looks so tidy and so cute as a beauty guru. No, not happening. So I've been at uni for over a week now. It's brilliant, probably all my flatmates and possibly everybody outside if the social smokers are outside will probably hear me from now on. Oh well, this is my first video that I'm filming at uni. It's a bit daunting back into the filming things because I've been pre-filming videos for about a month now that I actually like forgot how to turn the camera on and how to actually sit on my tripod and be like, is this real life? So yeah, um, but today, if you guys haven't noticed, I have been an acting student for three years and now I'm a film and media student with also doing introduction to literary studies, genre and global cinema. So yeah, during my time as an acting student there was a lot of things that people said and did to us that you should never do to someone who is an acting student. So without further ado, this is the five things you should never say or do to an acting student. Number one. Oh, so you're an acting student? Like, what have they seen you in? Eh, uh, hold on hen. Let me just get that straight once and for all. Just because we're acting students does not mean that A, we've been in advert, B, we've been in a TV show, C, we've been in a movie, D, we've been touring a country with something. No, unless you have been to West College Scotland and seen me in The Matchmaker, or you've been to Air College and seen me in The Reunion, or you've been to Edinburgh Lyceum and seen me in Angels, or been to Webster's Theatre and seen me in Find Me in Road, you'll not have seen me in anything. P.S. Just because I'm a Scottish acting student does not mean I have been an extra in River City and Waterloo Road. Just making that point. Number two, the face. Oh yeah, um, I'm an acting student. Oh, an acting student. Oh, that fierce. Oh, it grates on me every single time because it's like that face that goes, "Oh, honey, you're never gonna have a career." Like. Don't give us that face because it honestly grates on us and it's the worst thing you could ever do. Like see the clicking for a bartender, the face is the same as clicking to a bartender because you just are shooting us down before we've even started. Number three. Oh, so you're an acting student. It must be great not having to do theory. Hmm. That was what my last three years was. Theory. Yes, okay, I did two shows last year. I did a device piece and a show the year before and did two shows the year before that. Yeah, but what do you think the rest of the time? That's only two months out of my year. The rest of my year is theory and for the past two years it's been graded unit, which was like 3,000 words per each part and there was three parts. I basically did a whole dissertation in my second and third year of college. It was insane. So yes, common misconception, we do do a lot of theory. We probably do a lot more theory than you would think because not only do we do a play, we then need to write an evaluation on that play and we need to do voice exams and everything like that. And yes, we have a lot of practical exams, but you need to do a lot of theory before you can do the practical and that is what BA at <laughs> drama is and I know a lot of my friends are still doing BA this year and I've went on to do film and media but yeah there's a lot of theory that comes with that and also common misconception about film and media I knew this before I went in obviously being an acting student knowing that you had to do a lot of theory that this was going to be very theory central and I will not be doing any probably practical work until my third year. Number four Oh, you're an acting student. Well, at least you can teach theatre. Alright honey, I just kick us before we've even started. Just kick us down to the ground before we've even started. No one wants to be a drama teacher. There is about 5% of acting students that want to be a drama teacher. Although that's sort of gone up recently. I feel like a lot more people want to be drama teachers. But our main prerogative is usually to be an actor. Work in the film industry. Not to be a drama teacher and that is like me saying to you oh so you want to be an accountant oh it's okay you can always teach math 
You would never say that to somebody. We don't always want to teach drama. Me, preferably, I would love to teach drama when I'm probably about 16 all I can play as grannies. That would be great for me. I'll just teach drama and I'll have life experience by that point. I feel like to be a amazing drama teacher you really need to have life experience you need to have had experience in theatre or in you know tv and film industry you need to have had experience to be a drama teacher it's no good me coming out of this at 25 and being a drama teacher i don't have as much experience as my other lecturers like my old lecturer jim he was in still game he's worked with michelle gomez all that sort of stuff and he's now a drama teacher and he's amazing because he has so much experience and he understands what we're going through and understands how hard the industry is to get into now number five Probably worse than the face. Now imagine it, you're on a night out and you meet new people and you're with your friends and you're just chilling and sitting and suddenly they ask you what you do and you say, I'm an acting student. So they then go, oh so you're an acting student, do something for us. Huh? Really? Uh, no, 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 no. No. Contrary to popular belief, my life does not revolve around acting. If I go on a night out, very rarely, but if I go on a night out or I'm out for coffee or I'm doing something and suddenly somebody says, so you're an acting student, do something for us. <laughs> do you know my brain needs to switch off sometimes? I don't always need to act every second of every day. So, I may love Shakespeare, I may love Romeo and Juliet, but I am not going to stand and <laughs> recite Juliet's monologue from Romeo and Juliet for your entertainment. I ain't a dancing monkey, okay? No, not performing monkey, that's not me. No, that is also like me saying to you, oh, so you do maths, gonna give us an equation, gonna go and show us, or you're, you're doing biology? Can you tell me how algae was formed? And can you show me? That would be like you saying, oh no, I can't because I don't have my equipment with me. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into the bathroom and do a vocal warm up just to stand and do a monologue for you. Ain't gonna happen, son. Nice. And that was it. That is the five things you should never say or do to an acting student. So if you ever meet an acting student and they tell you they're an acting student, just go, oh, that's amazing. Well, I wish you best of luck in your career. That's what you do. You do not ask them to do anything. Just appreciate that they're an acting student, appreciate that they work very hard and just appreciate us actors because without us acting students, you wouldn't have shows like Sherlock and Doctor Who and CSI and The Walking Dead. You wouldn't have shows like that without us. So just remember, treat us right and you'll probably get the best entertainment you've ever seen. That was it, I will see you guys on Thursday with another video. Bye!